Right, I'm just doing a video on uh, taking the um, front door apart. Um, when I first bought uh, minis and I started doing work on them, I didn't have a clue uh, how they come apart. Uh, obviously the, the, the handles coming off is pretty simple, but it's all the lock mechanism and the uh, window mechanism. I just didn't have a clue. It took me ages and ages. So if it helps someone to make it faster for them, then great. Uh, if not, it'd just be a boring video, wouldn't it? So, yeah, so um, obviously the obvious thing is obviously take all the um, door pulls, handles and winders off and get the door card off. Try and keep all the screws and stuff with part relevant parts. I'll tape them up later. Pretty much, I think, um, Mark Three onwards, all door, all doors are the same unless they've got central locking or electric windows. Um, get them off. Sometimes they're a pain. Uh, yeah, so you got obviously the the door lock latch latch. So if you get obviously you undo these screws on these. These are actually attached to there with a little um, uh, circlet. So you need to fully take all of these off. I know that seems obvious. Now you can't actually get the door handle off without taking this um, off anyway, so it's one of the screws is right behind there, so you have to release this to get the door handle off. So you have to ease that out of there. That actually disconnects from the door handle latch part, um, which I'll show you in a minute. You have to pull that out of there. So on the door latch pole part, there's a little circlet on the back here, which you need to release somewhere. Oh no, it's on the front. Sorry, it's on the front, on the inside. A little fiddly to get off. So you don't lose that. So that's that one released. Let me clip that back on there. I'm also doing this. And then on the um, lock part, there's one behind, it's on the back of the latch, see it there. And there we are, that's the removed. Again, put that back on there for safekeeping. So that's that. Just going to put the screws back in so they don't get lost. If I remember what holes there were, at least. Uh, so if you've got these little black um, bung things uh, in your doors and you're putting them on a new door, do not forget to get them off of the door because I've had real trouble find, trying to find these replacements. Um, so yes, yeah, uh, and they don't come on the new door. 
So always remember, if you are changing the door, to take those black things off. Obviously, you've got them for the uh, pole handle as well. They're safekeeping. So now you can get the door handle off. There's obviously a screw in there. Try not to let it drop down, which normally it does. If you've got a small hand, you can get your hand in there to get it out, or I can't. The other one on the other side did drop down, so I have to fish that one out. Obviously, <sighs> screw there. And the handle kind of just slips out like that. So that part there, when that is in position. clips on to that part so when you pull that part out it just disengages from that um, and that's what it, it can be a pain in the backside to get that back in once you put it back together again so that's that once you put the screws back in so you don't lose them I know you can get new ones for Always better to use the old ones, right? And that's that. And then now, I, this is what I really struggled with. Uh, obviously, I didn't, uh, the, the, the door latch and pull on the uh, main latch was always a brain freeze for me. Um, and you learn over time unless you're told how to take these out. They're a pain to get back in sometimes. You have to be very careful not to scratch the uh, paintwork as you're putting the, the windows back in. Again, someone can tell me whether they had um, the, the polythene on here on a Mark III or not. Um, I've fitted it to all the other cars I've done, probably apart from Bolt. Um, and if, if this is supposed to have, have it, then I will put that polythene back on there. So this is sealed on. Uh, looks like they've used maybe uh, something like Tiger Seal or something similar. Um, should be like a butyl tape. So, as you get these off, as I'm not worried about scratching the paint, I'm respraying it. Right, so the window needs to be. Effectively, so if you need to release this out like so. Best position for the window is to have these arms. There's two arms that go up to the to the runners. Is to have them almost at, um, quarter past three. Yeah. Uh, no, not quarter past three. Quarter three. Because that is when the the, the uh, ends of the runners, the, these are on the ends of the runners. So we're there. And then you should be able to move it off the runners. The other one seems to come out so easy.
needs a bit of grease on them, they're actually in good condition. And then, so then to get this out, you just effectively wind that so it's all the way in the down position. So you can kind of see when that is in that position, you can slide that in, and they're, they're, they're almost at the ends of um, the runners. So yeah, that. is pretty much how you strip everything out of the door. All right, so, um, interior. Um, as I said, I'm trying to, I do want to sort of keep costs down. So the seats that came out, uh, this is passenger seat. Uh, it has got a little bit of a tear there, which I may be able to get repaired. Um, I don't really want to, Repair, um, get them renewed. Uh, they're actually in really good condition. Little bit of a, I think that's that's had a repair on there. Um, they're pretty comfy seats as well. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of a tear there, which I think can could be repaired. Generally, they are in really good condition, so I don't know whether they're original. Uh, they certainly look like the same colour uh, that they should be. Uh, uh, front carpet. Um, again, I don't know if it is original. Uh, I can only assume it is, but it's in all right condition. Um, I think with a good clean up, that will be, um, obviously it needs hoovering as well, but I think with a bit of a shampoo, it'll be all right. Obviously that's the uh, rear carpet. Signs of the seat sort of not sitting on these. Obviously I know I can replace these. These are a bit rusty. This one's broken. Um, so I'll have a look at the carpet situation, see what sort of costs they're going to be. Uh, if I can keep them, I will. Um, rear seats, no problem with them at all. Uh, obviously they, they don't get much use, so uh, yeah. So I do want to keep them. Door cards good condition that's just uh, sort of wax oil there uh, the door pockets real the rear bin liners uh, could just do a, a clean up um, these which go on the back wheel arches um, they look a bit grubby but obviously once they're re-glued back on and, and flattened out I think they'll be alright so yeah, as a as a general thing, the plan is to try and clean it all up, uh, try and get the front seats repaired. And actually, looking at the front seats, so maybe you can see that there, they're obviously blue. Door cards are blue. And I can't tell whether the seats are black or blue, but they're definitely a different shade. Um, to the rear seats so I'll look into the seats right so yeah uh, I'm gonna get all that packed away uh, for a few months so I don't get damaged or dirty 